Hello, graduating class of 2020. Uh, my name is Alec Buckley. I'm a fellow Serrano High School graduate. I was a class of 2011. Uh, a lot has changed since I was in high school. I remember skinny jeans and band tees being a thing. Uh, Serrano High School gave me the experience, the tools, resources, and knowledge to put me where I am today. Um, after graduating, I went to Cal State Fullerton. I got my degree, began my career, and uh, I've worked in the United States House of Representatives, the United States Senate, and I now work for a nonprofit organization in Washington, D.C. Um, now, I know this is kind of weird. Uh, me talking to you like this means that this isn't normal. Um, this isn't how you saw your graduation celebration. I know that. Um, I'm sorry. It sucks. It's not fair. But just remember, none of what's happening right now takes away your accomplishment. You did it. You graduated. So take a victory lap. <laughs> I know a lot of things are uncertain, especially right now, but we'll get through this. Just make sure you're staying safe, taking care of yourself, staying true to yourself, and focusing on your future. Once again, uh, congratulations, class of 2020. Class of 2020, Serrano High School, the Diamondbacks. Congratulations on finishing your studies. This has been one of the most trying times our world has ever seen. And your class has been able to finish your studies, persevere, and get everything done despite everything that's going on around you. You should pat yourself on the back for that. I want to uh, wish you best of luck and much success in all of your future endeavors. The sky is bright. You've been uh, taught and educated by great staff and faculty at Serrano, and you're well equipped and prepared to do whatever you want to do in life. Congratulations and best of luck in the future. Congratulations, Serrano, class of 2020. We are all so proud of you. I remember not so long ago, I was literally in the steps that you are in. As a peer ambassador, I've gained some of my best memories in high school. So shout out to the peer ambassadors or peer leaders now that I've heard. Um, but yeah, continue to be just pushing forward. Although I'm sure this time isn't turning out to be what you expected or what you sacrificed for, even what you've wanted, know that the dream still continues. There is so much ahead of you and continue to push forward. They say that a dream is a series of thoughts that are unreasonable. So what I want you to do is continue to be unreasonable. Continue to push. Do not let anybody deter you from what you want, what is in your heart, and sky's the limit. Don't take no for an answer. Congratulations and continue to be unreasonable, Serrano. Hello, Serrano class of 2020. My name is Aaron Long. I am a proud graduate of Serrano 2010 class. Uh, that is a full decade ago, which is crazy because it seems like just yesterday. Uh, now I'm a current uh, professional soccer player. I play for the New York Red Bulls and the US men's national team. Uh, during this COVID-19 pandemic, so many sacrifices have been made on your guys' end um, as seniors. Um, and a lot of things that you guys have sacrificed is what makes your senior year really, really, really special, um, like senior dances um, and maybe getting to walk at graduation. On the other hand, you didn't have to go to school for half the year, so it's kind of a fair trade. Uh, I think that's something that I would have took if I was in your guys' shoes back then. Uh, but more than anything, I just wanna encourage all you guys to make the best of this difficult situation, right? Uh, celebrate the many memories you guys have made at your time in Toronto. Look forward to the future memories that you will create and, and stay in touch with all your friends like I do. Um, you have so many great things to look forward to in the next few years. It's, it's a really exciting time for you guys. And I know every graduating class hopes to leave their school with a defining memory. Um, and I think you guys of the class of 2020 probably have the most everlasting memory of all. Um, and this is something not just you guys are gonna remember, but the whole world is gonna remember. Um, so more than anything, um, enjoy it. Um, I know you guys aren't getting to walk, but just so you know, I almost didn't get to walk. They thought that I spray painted the senior wall for my senior prank, which I didn't do. So I ended up did getting to walk, but that's a whole nother story. Uh, but more than anything, here's to you, class of 2020. You guys are now alumni, and like me, you will forever be a Diamondback. Congratulations. Hi, how you doing? Professional basketball player Jamal Franklin, and also alumni of 2009's class of Serrano Diamondbacks. I want to say congratulations to class of 2020. Look forward to seeing you guys in your adulthood, and also congratulations to the parents of the 2020 class. Look forward to you guys seeing you guys in adulthood. Congrats. Congratulations, you guys are 2020 Snowline grads. That is an amazing achievement, and I am so proud of each and every one of you. 
For those of you who don't know me, I'm Maddie Mastro. I'm a former Wrightwood Raccoon, Pinion Mesa Wolverine, and Serrano Diamondback. I now am a professional snowboarder. I went on in my next career in life to pursue what I love doing, which is snowboarding, and I hope that each and every one of you will then see this next chapter in your life as an opportunity to go and find your passion in life and do what you love, because that's what I got to do. And if it wasn't for the amazing people at Snowline behind me, I wouldn't be able to do that. But this is about you, so congratulations. You guys have worked so hard, and I know this isn't your ideal graduation, the traditional one, but I hope I can help make it a little bit more special and you guys realize all your hard work has not gone unseen and it's a huge achievement. So congratulations guys, to you guys again, you did it. We would like to take the opportunity to welcome parents, soon to be graduates, and our esteemed colleagues to the class of 2020's graduation. Also joining us, I would like to recognize the following dignitaries. First, our school board members, Mr. Kenny Funk, Mr. Marcus Hernandez, Mr. Steve Colomb, and Mrs. Christine Berenger. We would like to recognize our superintendent, Dr. Ryan Holman, Assistant Superintendent Alan Miller, Assistant Superintendent Dennis Zimmerman, Assistant Superintendent Robert Chacon. Also in the audience, our esteemed colleagues, Assistant Principal Lisa Hansen, Assistant Principal Andrea Morrison, Dean of Students Lisa Williamson, Dean of Students Sabrina Merrick, Lead Counselor Michelle Scribner, Counselor Leslie Carver, Counselor Chris Rosado, Counselor Michelle Barbarina, also our ASB Director Scott Cornell, Athletic Director Joe Knowlton, our Senior Class Advisor Joshua Sullivan, and as always, we want to give a special thanks to Chris Piercy, who has always helped the senior class. Would you please stand and rise for the Pledge of Allegiance conducted by Michaela Reese. And also, please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem. Good evening. My name is Michaela Reeves. I am the senior class president here at Serrano High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. speaker is the salutatorian of this graduating class, the student who holds the second highest grade point average in the class. This year's salutatorian is Brian Fan. Brian Fan is graduating with a 4.76 GPA and will be attending the University of California Berkeley to study business. We invite Brian Fan. 
to receive his medal. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations to the class of 2020. We made it. Thank you to my parents, all the other parents, teachers, and counselors for all the things you've done to support us in our journey. Also, a big shout out to all the essential workers and healthcare workers who are risking their lives every day to keep our country running. March 14th was the day that we were told that school would be canceled until after spring break. Many of us were thrilled to enjoy a two-week break not really knowing what was to come. However, it wasn't until the announcement that the rest of the school year would be canceled that we realized that we might never see many of us again. People always say that your last semester in high school will be your best, so make the best out of it. I look forward to these words, but just like that, a real graduation, ceremony, prom, and everything else was taken away from us. Sure, we can walk down our driveways with our caps and gowns, and even listen to Pop and Circumstance on Spotify, but it just isn't the same. And although I had a wonderful four years with you all, the one thing that hurts more than saying goodbye is not being able to say goodbye at all. I was planning to make a very cliche speech, the one you hear every year about how we graduates will be moving on to the next step in our lives, about how we will be leaving behind much of our friends and family to enter the world as an adult whether through college or through work, about how sometime in the future we'll face challenges that we weren't prepared for. Unfortunately, unlike any other graduating class, we will enter the world headfirst with the pandemic and its uncertain repercussions as our first test. However, trials like this will only build us up. How we handle them will define who we will become. The silver lining to all these current events is all the extra time we have to ourselves. Start learning the guitar, do some push-ups, read a book, but most importantly, take this time to reflect on what truly matters to you and what you're truly grateful for. We don't know how long this will last, but we do know that we can make the best out of any situation. And when life resumes, live every day like it's your last day before another pandemic. There may be more things we wish we did in high school, but that doesn't determine the things we can do in our future. Finally, I hope you're all safe and well at home, and congratulations to the class of COVID-19. We pushed through, and we will keep pushing through. Our final speaker for the evening is the Valley Victorian, who is the student with the highest weighted grade point average. This year's Valley Victorian is Sergio Gonzalez, who is graduating with a 4.92 GPA. Sergio will be attending UCLA in Los Angeles, California. At this time, we'd like to invite Mr. and Mrs. Gonzalez to present the medallion for Valley Victorian to their son. Good evening, y bienvenidos. It is with great honor to represent Serrano's class of 2020 through the delivery of this speech, and I am proud to be here. On my end, it all started when two 16-year-olds immigrated illegally to this country from Mexico to chase the American dream. Though did they expect that I would become an American nightmare? Those two teenagers were my parents, who made the irreversible decision to leave behind their loved ones, and I thank them for their sacrifices. Espero que mis padres estén orgullosos de mí, como yo estoy orgulloso de ellos. I would like to thank my siblings, Pascua, Daisy, and Miguel, for their unconditional support. To my school's faculty, know that we do not take your dedication, time, and patience for granted. To the parents and guardians of every senior, I am positive that each of us thank you for the sacrifices made throughout this 13-year journey. I hope we have made you all proud, just as you have made us feel. I want everybody to remember that discovering the truth about ourselves is a lifetime's work, but it's worth the effort, quote Mr. Rogers. To my fellow classmates, although it may not be the ceremony we were anticipating, your hard work and achievements do not go unrecognized. I hope everyone is well and safe during these difficult times. 
Looking back to December, I never would have expected the acceptance letter into my dream university, UCLA. But on March 20th, that dream became a reality, and the roller coaster of stress finally paid off. Before my achievements, there are moments of anger and doubt, and I am sure that some of you can relate. The feeling of hunger for academic success always haunted me, but now I realize that there is much more than good grades to a stable and happy life. As you can tell, this really took a toll on my self-esteem. We have to understand that even though at one point or another we have all felt this way about certain things, it is important to grow from these events and become socially, physically, academically, and economically smart. Here are some important things I have learned. Stop comparing yourself to others. Stop criticizing yourself so harshly. Stop, take a breath, pause, and remember that there's someone out there that believes you and loves you just the way you are. As Taylor Swift once said, you're not the opinion of somebody who does not know you. You are not damaged goods because you have made mistakes in your life. And finally, you're not going nowhere just because you haven't gotten to your final destination yet. Take every chance you get. It is okay to make mistakes, and when you fall down, Pick yourself back up as many times as it takes. Do not focus on a time frame to meet your goals, but instead, stay consistent and disciplined. And when you become successful, give back to your community. Side note, take this quarantine to realize who is essential and who is not. Though I may not know every single graduate from Serrano's 2020 class, I can assure you that we are not the same freshmen that entered campus four years ago. Look back and think of this adventure, smile, and realize that adulthood has finally begun. It seems like it was just yesterday when we were all timid, anxious, and excited. Some of us walked into the wrong class, we made new friends, others accomplished athletic milestones, some participated in the performing arts, but most importantly, we were all a team. Even though we did not get the graduation of our dreams, I am grateful to have met all of you. Best of all, we did not have to turn in our capstone essays. This experience was not all sunshine and rainbows. We all had ups and downs, and as a part of Generation Z, I urge you all to change the future for the better. Set aside your political views, and do not be colorblind. Actually be color conscious, so that we may not repeat the same mistakes like those we read in our history books. Become a better listener and respect other people's opinions, but always challenge anything that is morally wrong. With our actions, let's show how our generation can make a difference in the world, because we're a giant melting pot of cultures that assimilated into the best country. Nothing will ever be the same after we leave. And although this may sound scary, know that Serrano has prepared us well for what's to come. The way I see it, this is just the finale of one fantastic show with four great seasons and the beginning of numerous spin-offs. As this chapter of our lives comes to an end and we embark on new journeys, I want to wish you all war in your future endeavors, whether it be going to a four-year university, community college, trade school, enlisting in the military, or joining the workforce. We did it, class of 2020. I cannot be more proud. Congratulations, and thank you, God. Viva Mexico. God bless America. Good evening, family, friends, and community. Graduating class of 2020, I am so honored to be principal of Serrano High School today. We have had to deal with some difficult situations this year, but working together, we made it. Congratulations for making it this far. We often view tragedy from a distance in another country, across our nation, in other countries. Tragedy is a part of life. It's what you make of it that defines you. Your situation in life can, in, in a twinkling of an eye, change. Sometimes you can make it through unrattled, and sometimes it is unbearable. I know this because at the age of 13 years old, I lost that hardworking man, my father. He had passed, and I thought my life was over. I thought I would fail. I thought I would not be successful. I thought I would lose my purpose. My family struggled financially during the time as my mother had to raise seven children. She is my hero. Yet still, I did not understand my purpose. Although I would hear people say, he has a gift, he has a purpose, I did not understand it because I was too young. As I grew into a man, I began to understand how much hard work it would take to own my purpose. I worked. I prayed, at times I was resentful of my situations, and still I wanted to know my purpose. Serrano High School Class of 2020, in understanding your purpose, people are not looking at you. They're looking at your circumstances, your situations, your faults, and your weaknesses. 
Many people are looking at you to destroy your purpose because of their insecurities. Others are bitter at some consequences they, they were dealt due to making poor choices. Do not let people change your purpose. It is a gift. You were not born to be like me. You were not born to be like them. You were not born to be like anyone else. You were born to be yourself. You were placed on this earth to be great. Nelson Mandela said this, your playing small does not serve the world. Who are you not to be great? Stop holding yourself back because of someone else's limitations. Les Brown said this, one of my favorite motivational speakers, someone's negative perception is not your reality. Do not let society's negativity change who you are. They will talk about you when you have nothing and when you have something. Keep focus and continue to work hard. The right people will see your purpose. You have been working diligently for 12 years, and that is an accomplishment. You have been successful in your journey. Now you need to be ready for greatness. That is for purpose. What is the difference between success and greatness? Greatness requires you to be impactful. Sometimes that will be identified by small acts of kindness. Many times you won't even know you have made an impact. Continue to stay humble. Over the years, I have had the honor to attend many of your events, like sports scholarship signings, sporting events, award ceremonies, concerts, plays, and competitions. I have seen you overcome cancer, accidents, deaths, broken bones, torn relationships, and bad breakups. I've seen you in the quads crying. You have made it to the mountaintop, and now you have more to do, as are future doctors, teachers, engineers, musicians, welders, and lifelong learners. You are now striving for greatness by giving back to your community, volunteering and raising funds for worthy causes. Greatness is about making an impact in the lives of others while you are on this earth. Greatness is also defined by how the recognition of your successes give hope to those who have supported you the most. That's right, your parents, your friends and family, and those closest to you like your teachers. They have all pushed, encouraged, and it motivate you to continue on your path of purpose. And in turn, it motivates them to share kindness to others when no one is looking. Your greatness comes from your unlimited talents, creativity, innovation, uniqueness, gifts, and purpose. It is your greatness that matters. So what will you do with this? Serrano High School graduating class of 2020, your purpose is to be great in everything that you do. I would like to conclude with these points of impact. Number one, understand your purpose. You are wonderfully and uniquely made. Number two, have a plan for your purpose. You are going toward greatness. So do your work and strive to be great. Number three, have the right people around you. A lot of times you'll have those negative people that are gonna bring you down. Pull some people that are positive, that are encouraging around you. People will attempt to kill your gift and purpose. They're called gift killers. You wanna eliminate those people from your, your zone of influence. Number five, be resilient. Persevere, be determined. This is your purpose. Number six, document your purpose and celebrate. Celebrate hard. Number seven, understand your vision. This is your greatness. This is your life. If you don't invest in it, no one else will. Give everything that you have. You will fail at times. This is your time to get up and shine. I see your potential for greatness. I've seen you be great, Veronica. I've seen you be great, Michaela, speaking and fighting for the senior class. I've seen Delaney play hard and work hard. I've seen Sarah encourage her peers. I've seen Parker wrestle. I've seen cheerers with broken bones and casts continue to cheer on the sidelines. 
I've seen Michael persevere during tragedy. I've seen Chastity fight for her life. I've seen students fight through financial hardship. I've seen the class of 2020 fight through disease. Serve your purpose to the world. Press on towards your mark. We love you, class of 2020. Thank you. Go Diamondbacks. Francisco Silverio Aguilar. Maribel Marie Aguilar. Marisol Marie Aguilar. Kathy Ahumada. Karen Alboran. Hector Misael Alor. Zochitl Alejandra Alvarado. Cade Michael Andruski. Joseph Anthony Arguello. Ariana Sue Nevea Arrieta. Caesar Ibrahim Arroyo. Adriana Avon Artiega. Desiree Astorga. Dylan Aaron Avia. Moses Ivan Avia. Angelina Avina. Jonathan Ayala. Aaron Nicole Jean Baca. Diego Alejandro Baez. Wesley Lewis Barnes. Anthony Rafael Berrigan. Wyatt Mikhail Bates. Jacob Allen Bauer. Kate Austin Bojan. Elijah Anthony Becerra. Jillian Nicole Becerra. Ashley May Bechter. Hey everyone. I just want to thank my parents, my grandparents, and everyone who's always supported me throughout my 13 years in Snow Line School District. Thank you. I love you guys. Patrick Raymond Bell. Kiara Lene Berry. Julian Cole Bingham. Brianna Allison Black. Destin Lowell Rudy Blake. Hi, my name is Destin Blake, and I'm going to be studying graphic design at GCU. And I'd like to thank my friends and family for helping me get to this point in my life. Jasmine Boatman. Michael Edward Boytnot. Miles Camuela Bonilla. Tyler Sebastian Bram. Mason Francois Brio. Daniel Brisseno. Zoe Nicole Bristol. Annabelle Rosaba Broncala. Alyssa Bubin. Travis Blair Burris. Haley Love Calendar. 
Juan Carlos Camacho. Arturo Camarena Mayan. Austin William Camp. Ashlyn Kendall Caraciola. Vanessa Cardenas. Chriselle Paulette Cardoza. Adrian J. Carlos. Jamie Leanne Carrillo. Jaylene Marie Casillas. Luis Gilberto Castaneda. Michael Robert Castillo. Evelyn Georgia Castro Gutierrez. Christopher Cheshmajiev. Parker James Chaffee. Jasmine Elizabeth Chagoya. Daniel Brian Chalmers. Erica Tisha, Unique Chancellor. Michael Chavoya. Johnny Taro Chikazawa. Audrey Julia Chirip Riggs. Michael Ernest Collins. Frank Contreras. Chloe Lynn Cooley. Emily Elizabeth Cortez. Alexis Crespo. Alyssa Rosalie Cruz. Joshua Scott Critton. Ian Hunter Crocker. Sean Thomas Crowley. Thank you to all my teachers. You have given me a place to excel in my learning. And thank you to all my friends and family who have made me the person I am today. Diamondbacks 2020. Brianna Cruz. Brittany Diana Cruz. Alicia Cuevas. Riley Nicole Cunningham. Zachary Thomas Denega. Zoe May Lee Denega. Ashley Marie Davis. Kyle Daniel Davis. Nakibani Lene Davis. Mariah Jolie DePonte. Cody Bryson DeWint. Justice Melody Drake. Gabriel Marlon Dubon. K. Daniel Dyerly. Brandon Isaiah Eaton. Class of 2020, we did it through quarantine and all. Aaron Taylor Eberhard. Kaylee Marie Eddy. Madison Ann Elliott. Darian Roshan Elster. 
Miranda Lee Emi. Miriam Escamilla. Rosanna Escobar. Allison Espinoza. Vasilita Elizabeth Espinoza. Rochelle Juliana Espatia. Ariana Monique Escare. Hey guys, I first want to thank my mom, my family, and my teachers for all their support. Now that I'm graduating, my future plan is to join the Air Force and continue to succeed in life. Leora Jane Fairman. Emily Hope Ferguson. Trinity Ashante Fidas. Davian Kelly Fields. Hi, my name is Davian Fields. I'll be attending Fresno State University to study business management to become a sports agent. And I want to thank everybody to help me on this journey. Casey Lynn Figueroa. Heather Rain Fisher. Gage Fitch. Destiny and Fix. Destiny and Fix. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for getting me here. Andres Flores. Emily Larissa Flores. Esteban Uoa Flores. Juliette Jaylene Flores. Jacob Robert Flutie. John Henry Mills Ford. Joshua Andrew Folk. Matthew Jerul Fowler. Jacob Dean Fox. Miranda Cortez Fragoso. Julian Fuentes Ayala. Anna Elizabeth Funk. Alistair Gordon Gale. Grace Elizabeth Galindo. Abraham Garcia. Andrea Natalie Garcia. Angelina Brianne Garcia. Evie Garcia. Juana Patricia Garcia. Adrian Gavilanes. Michael Glenny. Cheyenne Marie Golden. Cynthia Giselle Gonzalez. Cynthia Gonzalez. I'd like to once again thank my family and friends, as well as the Snowland staff, for helping me graduate. And I can't wait to move on to Cal Poly Pomona. Julius Jesse Gonzalez. Moises Samuel Gonzalez. Raimundo Hilario Gonzalez. Sergio Gonzalez. Zitlali Gonzalez. 
Zachary Allen Goff Enzo Simi Gaudi Serena Mercedes Granados Gabriella Emily Green Michael Austin Jed Green I did it. I'm happy and I'm proud of myself. Sydney Monet Green Jade Simone Greer Charity Grace Griffin Matthew Timothy Grondwalski Brenda Bea Gutierrez Jacqueline Gutierrez Luis Gutierrez Travis Guzman Jacob Thomas Hampton Ariel Melody Hanantena Joshua Donovan Hanscom Deveni Alessandra Hardiman Daniela Esther Hawk Noah Daniel Hayes Haley Marie Hurd Nicholas Alexander Heim Devin Christiawan Hemanangan Hendrahaya Daniel Israel Hernandez Violetta Anita Hernandez Jessica Jeanith Hernandez Paredes Lauren Taylor Hickok Robert Anthony Hicks Earl Leon Hodson VI Stephen Allen Michael Holbrook Jordan Janae Holston Kelsey Ann Howard Nathan J. Hughes Marisa Illick Joseph Anthony Iorio Owen Carlin Laurel Jackson Andrew Mitchell Jennings Ricardo Jose Jimenez Jose Adrian Jimenez Maldonado Dewan Johnson Eric Matthew Johnson Nicholas Chase Johnston Thank you to everyone who got me to this point um, Off to the Navy Bye Michael Dion Jones Andrew Kamau Karanja Ruslan Edwardovich Kellogg Megan Isabel Canchalo Saldana Josephine Jiha Kim 
Mary Kim. D'Angelo Dion King. Nicolette Michelle Knight. Brady Joseph Knowlton. Jacob Lee Lafon. Nicholas Dean Lamela. Cassandra Lee LePage. Corbett Richard Lagston. Gabriel Landa. Paul Emil Langdo. Matthew Lewis Larkins. Evan Robert Laycock. Brian Van Lee. Leslie Melissa Ledesma. Thank you to my teachers, family, and friends, and especially my mom and dad for supporting me throughout my four years of high school. Love you guys. Nathan K. Lee. Nicole Marie Leaker. Hi, I'm Nicole Leaker. Thank you to all my friends and family who helped me get here. I'm very blessed and thanks for everything. Jordan Bridget Lenta. Dakota Gerald Leonard. Megan Lynn Logue. Rachel Dawn Logue. Christian David Lopez. Cassandra Soleil Lopez. Cassandra Lopez. Jesse Lopez Alcala. Matthew Stephen Lowe. Alexandria Juliet Lucero. Sydney Luna. Emily Marie McKenzie. Kimberlyn Nasarelli Maravilla. Christian Reese Martin. Abby Lane Martinez. Anthony Christopher Martinez. Brianna Martinez. Leslie Marie Martinez. Luis Abraham Martinez. Marco Antonio Martinez Garcia. Robert James Maritzen. Rosanna James McBride. Lindsay Chantal McCandless. Lucille Eileen McKenzie. Frankie Isabella Mealy. Anna Julissa Mendez. Anne Angela Mendez. Natalie Mendizable. Alexi Dean Mendoza. Eduardo Mendoza. Stephanie Mendoza Perez. Farrah May.
Emilio Mian Flores. Kelsey Dawn Miller. Vanessa Miramontes. Diego Maxwell Miranda. Janelle Brianna Mitchell. Emily Melissa Mondragon. Michael Philip Montague. Kiara Alize Moore. Sylvia Morales Guevara. Maria Guadalupe Morales Martinez. Jacqueline Morelos. Victor Alexander Moreno. Kaylee Nicole Mullins Ritchie. Alexis Angelina Munoz Barrocio. Miles Zaire Murrell. Adrian Canicio Navarro. Daphne Navarro. Karina Grace Newkirk. Adrian Marie Newsom. Andy Nee. Kaylee Ann Nicholas. Darby Nicole Nims. Trevor Scott Norman. Alexa Ray Oliver. Jake Norris Oliver. Kristen Autumn O'Neill. I would like to thank my family, friends, and teachers for always pushing me to do better. And if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be here today. So thank you. Class of 2020. Luis Braham Orozco. Abigail Noemi Ortega. Kaylin Alessandra Ortega. Janelise Ann Orton. Lorani Rose Osborne Lynn. Reina Christine Padilla. Victor Isaac Padilla. Samantha Nicole Palma. Mackenzie Muriel Palmer. Morgan Michelle Palmer. Antonios Andrew Panagiotopoulos. Haley Annette Parr. Maximus Alexander Parra. Kaylee Michelle Patrick. Amber Serenity Payan. Aliyah Jolie Pearson. Preston Robert Peck. Vanessa Pina. Crystal Rebecca Perez. Jonathan David Perez. Noah Perez Mora. Brian Fan. Daniel Jose Pino. 
Tyler John Pline. Jocelyn Poblano Juarez. Vincent Rocco Polito. Eduardo Ponce. Congrats, class of 2020. Ulysses Prado. Brandon Maximus Preciado. Chloe Isabel Primo. Kayla Paulette Presley. Alejandro Quijano Milan. Judith Elizabeth Quinones Garcia. Blake Josiah Quintanilla Willette. Bellana Grace Raggio. Graciela Esperanza Ramirez. Bernardo Antonio Ramirez Chavez. Hello, my name is Bernardo Ramirez Chavez, class of 2020. I want to say to the congrats to everyone graduating, passing all the classes, going to college, or what are you going to do? Helen Gabriela Ramos. Matthew Ryan Raimondo. Angel Anthony Rial. Lauren Shirley Reed. Jasmine Faith Reese. Michaela Delaney Reeves. Mia Marie Reeves. Skylar Chanel Reeves. Sydney Alexis Rendon. Marissa Andelia Reyes. Leslie Joanna Reyes Avia. Eric Allen Richardson. Ephelia Marie Riso. Isabella Rivas. Ashley Emily Rivera. Carlos Javier Rivera. Carlos Rivera. Perla Guadalupe Rivera Palacios. Keyshawn Robinson. Destiny Nicole Robledo. Hannah Ray Rodarte. Robert Christian Rodarte. Andrea Rodriguez. Haley Madison Rodriguez. Jacqueline Rojas. Alvina Romero Guillen. Eros Romero Guillen. Jesus Ramon Romo. Ryan Andrew Rosales. Jasmine Amunet Ross. Johnny Oli Ross. Crystal Ruiz Estrada. Angela Salas. Genesis Gabriela Salcedo. I just want to 
just want to say thank you to all my friends and family who have supported me through high school and through the college application process, and I'm so excited for the future. Israel Samuel Salgado Sebastian Salgado Annabelle Sanchez Carrie Brianna Sanchez Luis Alberto Sanchez Jarrett Taylor Smith Amanda Jane Shelpy Jacob John Scott Jared Joseph Seagull Joseph Manpio Serna Elizabeth Sierra Darian Blake Simonian Leilani Anna Slusser Casey Charles Smith Gabriel Lana Smith Jonathan Robert Smolensky Zitlali Sky Soto Eliseo Gabriel Soto Sotero I'd like to thank my parents because without them I wouldn't be the person I am today. I'd also like to thank my friends and my teachers for always being there for me. And what can I say? Congrats, class of 2020, the one we were quarantined. Matthew Ryan Sprague. Ruben Joseph St. Marie. Brandon James St. Peter. Felicity Ann Steele. Aiden Matthew Steinman Sarah Michelle Stern Kaylee Marie Nicole Stott Matthew Stephen Stratford Rachel Alicia Stroop Richard Donovan Sullivan Wakil Jihad Dong Hao Sullivan Raymond Sutz Madeline Kayla Swatzel Jamie Lynn Sweeney Michael Paul Thacker Gavin Lee Thog Martin Alyssa Sherry Thompson JC Renee Thompson Faith Leilani Tinoco Clarissa Jalissa Torado Peyton Mark Todd Hunter Ariana L. Tolliver Esmeralda Torres Tommy Van Tran Christina Moline Trueblood Tanya Michelle Trujillo Tovar Thomas Aiden Turner Samantha Raylene Uyoa Marco Antonio Ureña 
Jose Refugio Valdez. Caitlin Kalani Valenzuela. Ashley Amber Van Hemmert. Joshua Lee Van Hemmert II. Savina Marlin Vargas. Christian Isaias Vasquez. Crystal Velasco. Ashley Velasquez Roman. Benjamin Noel Veloso. Conrad Villanueva. Brianna Gabriela Villegas. Taylor Reese Wadsley. Bridget Marie Walker. John Daryl Waltman. Zachary Robert Walton. Portia Marie Wasson. Kyle Dean Wellner. Aaron Shane Wheeler. Anaya J. Lynn Williams. Christopher Lee Williams. Stephen Thomas Williams. Alyssa Marin Wilson. Veronica Elise Wilson. Kala Jane Wood. Francis Henry Yegi. Delaney Ann Young. Caden Anthony Philip Zamora. Lena Paula Zamora. Stephanie Giovanna Zarate Carranza. Julissa Zandejas. Logan Joseph Ziegenbein. Melanie Zuniga. Serrano High School class of 2020, congratulations. I love being able to say that. I also love having the privilege of being the Snowline Joint Unified School District Superintendent. But more important to me is this, being able to call myself a 1985 Serrano High School graduate. Now it is the duty of all superintendents in California to certify that graduates have met all state requirements. But before I do that, I would like to share a few words with all of you, our soon to be 2020 Serrano High School graduates. First and foremost, I want to say how deeply sorry I am about the circumstances that make this type of graduation ceremony necessary. Your celebration should not have to happen this way. All Snowline students are special, but seniors like yourselves are more than that. You are extraordinary, each and every one of you. My sincerest apologies to all of you for ending your multi-year educational journey in Snowline this way. These difficult times of battling a virus have reminded me of the power of heroes. I want all of you to know that you are my heroes. Let me explain. If heroes are defined as people who have special achievements, abilities, or personal qualities, and are regarded as role models, then the term fits all of you quite well. Your successes are more proof of your hero status with me. They have come in many places, in classrooms, on stages, courts, and fields, within our community, throughout California and other states, in the student section, at athletic events, on campus during passing periods, and in numerous other areas, way too many for me to list. 
all of you have probably overcome untold and even never to be understood challenges to realize your successes and become Serrano High School graduates. Each and every one of you, you're heroes. So my heroes, I think of all of you now and I am reminded that you are former students. You're our current treasures. You're our future leaders. You are and always will be Serrano High School graduates. Most importantly, I am reminded that you are heroes, all of you. Your generation is better equipped than any other for heroic efforts during this pandemic and when it's over. My urging to you, the class of 2020, is to continue being heroes today and beyond. The late singer-songwriter David Bowie told us about being heroes in one of his songs by saying, and I quote, we can be heroes forever and ever. Be heroes in your lifelong pursuits. More importantly, be heroes as sisters and brothers, as daughters and sons, as granddaughters and grandsons, as future mothers and fathers. Be heroes as community members and volunteers. Be heroes. And as always, be heroes of success, of service, of leadership, of respect, of unity. Keep being heroes of care, of empathy, of compassion, and as you always are with me, please keep being heroes of kindness. The world always needs all of that, especially now. And in short, be a worldwide pandemic of heroes as Serrano High School graduates. Now, in the spirit of kindness, I believe that heroes like all of you deserve recognition. And as R.J. Palacio wrote in her book called Wonder, and I quote, I think there should be a rule that everyone in the world should get a standing ovation at least once in their lives. And I agree. Now, why this works best in the Serrano High School Stadium, it is no less important when it's done virtually. So let's follow R.J. Palacios' uh, kindness rule. Whoever is watching this video, please join me right now in giving our Serrano High School graduates, our heroes, a standing ovation. Now please also make sure this happens every single time you watch this video. Now the greatest honor for me in my role is to be a Serrano High School graduate like all of you who choose to be heroes forever and ever. Congratulations my heroes and from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Now let's get on with the process of becoming official Serrano High School graduates with this last powerful and most necessary sentence from me and it goes this way. By the power vested in me by the Snow Line Joint Unified School District Board of Trustees, I hereby certify that these students have met all the requirements as set forth by the State of California for high school graduation and are now Serrano High School graduates. Congratulations. Congratulations, Class of 2020. We did it. Please join me in moving your tassel from right to left.